I just saw Star Wars The Last Jedi. Want to know what I think? Well, stay tuned, but warning, spoilers are ahead. Let me start by saying that I realize everyone runs in different circles, but in my particular circles, I've heard before going into this movie two very contrasting overall opinions. One, people saying that the movie was great and on par with the likes of Empire. The other opinion was that the film was... A disappointment. Now where do I fall on this list? Well, I am a bit of a great Jedi on this one because I am right in the middle. I think the movie was okay. I liked parts, I disliked other parts. It was just alright to me. Is it better than Empire? No way, it's not even close. Is it better than all the prequels? Definitely, by a long shot. So alright, let's start by talking about what I did like. I liked that this film had a focus on being its own thing and that the message was stripping away the old guard. Letting you know that this film was not an Empire clone. Whoa, Empire? Attack of the Clones? Both middle of their trilogies? Just like... The Last Jedi? Anyway, one problem I had with The Force Awakens was that it was very much just the original film. Again, I liked that this movie took chances and diverged in unexpected paths. And one path that I liked was Kylo killing Snoke. Something that I did not think was going to happen going into this movie, but was glad to see that Snoke did the job to get Kylo over as a main event bad guy. I also liked the early interactions with Rey and Luke, proving why you should never meet your heroes. It led for a very interesting dynamic. And I also liked the turn of events where it was revealed that Kylo thought Luke was going to kill him, and that's why he turned, and then we find out that Luke did think about killing him, but only momentarily, but it was already too late. These thoughts and perspectives help to flesh out the characters a little bit more by giving them conflicting thoughts. And continuing on that line, the performances were really great. The lead characters all did very well, as did the supporting cast, like Benicio Del Toro, who made his smaller role feel very memorable. And even really small roles, like Rose's sister, mattered. Her performance set the tone that made you really feel that moment and feel how important it was going to be later on. And of course, again, the major players all did quite well too. Also, I do appreciate to a minor extent the more technical sci-fi mumbo jumbo that was thrown in to appeal towards the Trekkie audience, mentioning things like fuel, space jumps, and giving these ships a little more science to them. I understand that too much of this can weigh down a story and muddle up the plot, especially for the normies, but I think in this movie, it was done just the right amount. Now on to what I didn't care for. Some of these separate character storylines didn't feel like they quite connected or were even necessary. Finn almost felt like he was in this movie out of sheer obligation alone more than anything else. While I did like his confrontation with Phasma, I didn't feel his character grow in this movie, which is a shame since I really enjoyed his arc in the previous film. And on to Phasma, while I did like their fight, when many fans complained that Phasma was not used enough, I defended the choice. I assumed that Phasma would simply play a larger role in the future, so they casted a wonderful actor early just to make a cameo in episode 7, assuming that her payoff would happen later down the line. And since it appears that she died in that confrontation, well, it seems that's not going to be happening. I also really didn't care for the scene where Rey crawls inside the planet's evil butthole to discover the dark side. That scene was very reminiscent of Luke's scene in Empire when he enters the dark forest. However, there was no reveal to this scene. She learned nothing. She just looked into the funhouse mirror of Erised and that was it. Nothing happened. Unlike what happened in Empire. Empire. This was especially disappointing since this planet's butthole was explained to be a place of the dark side. We learned that when Rey was reaching out and did that Simpsons trick. In the end, it didn't seem all that dark and it definitely didn't seem like something that Luke should fear now when it didn't scare him back then. Furthermore, Luke's death felt tacked on and the romp in the casino with Finn and Rose was very ridiculous and was the pod racing of this movie. Lastly, and the reason why I think many felt disappointed was that the reveals were just bad. I didn't like Rey's parents turning out to be nobodies. Sure, I know some people are really enthused about that. However, it felt like they were directly telling the fans that her parents are just regular people and that the whole mystery surrounding it that everyone got invested in was all for nothing. And I have no problem with non-Skywalker or non-Solo characters entering the fray. And I don't feel like everyone has to be a new Kenobi or whatever for these films and that some major characters having no affiliation with previous ones are good. However, why did they build the mystery and keep everything vague just for nothing? Why hype it up if there's no follow through on fan expectations. Which is also something I could say for Snoke. While I did like what happened, I still wish I had more information on him. Ultimately, while I liked how some characters went through significant changes and have an interesting journey that has nothing but possibilities for the next film, there are some characters that I wanted more information on and thought that there were some big missed opportunities. So all in all, I like this movie okay enough. Although I like The Force Awakens more. But what did you think? Let me know down in the comments how you felt about 
about Star Wars The Last Jedi. And please like and subscribe, and also don't forget to keep it here for your comic book news. Thank you so much for watching, and this has been Dave Knows.